Welcome to the Quivering. Evening all. Peace be with you, my child. Are you a real vicar? Or just a guy who enjoys wearing dresses? Actually both. So... Do you believe in God? Oh, definitely. He, he is real. I, I read it in a book, yes. Okay. So if time and space can mutually exist within an ever-expanding universe, a fact which chaos theory attributes to outer dimensions pushing in on themselves over and above the constraints of a tailored heaven and earth, what room is there in any such equation for the concept of a supreme Entity. Mm, you're just yanking my chain now. <laughs> Damn right. I bet you've seen some pretty scary stuff since you took over the parish. Only in my wife's underwear, but... <laughs> uh, you and I don't know each other nearly well enough to discuss that one. <laughs> I suppose this is a fairly normal night around here. Well, some of the chaps did fatally injure a stranger. They blamed for the sudden satanic forces brooding over our darkened turrets. Uh, and, of course, the jukebox is broken, but otherwise, yes, business as usual. Oh no, 
no, no. You don't get a keys. These belong to someone very special. Frankenstein. You know, it's quite hurtful. I'm so readily recognized in this genetic mutation. I received your distress call. I knew it was you. All the same, I'm a raven here. A reaction would be nice. You said we got a submission. Yes, yes, yes. But you've still got time for a Why Uncle Frankenstein? Surely it can't be you! Before we set off and blast the bad guys. He's okay, Uncle. Oh my God, no. What cruel transformation has afflicted my beloved uncle? Woeful, but better. Now do we tool up and cruise for action, or am I on the next bus home? Patience, boy. You want to know why I sent for you, don't you? Just a few hours ago, I was conducting a top secret experiment. You were scientists, Hank. It ain't unusual. All the same, this was a real humdinger. That actually is unusual. My lifetime's work. At last, the time is nigh. Go, go, my trusty, if disconcertingly watty assistant. Yes. Oh, master. You may prepare the ghoul cube. Ghoul cube? It's a cube that contains ghouls, or will do. Evidently. See you catch the ghouls in the cube, so as outside the cube there is no ghouls, and we enjoy a ghoul-free society with ghouls strictly cube-bound, confined to their cube and feeling to wander beyond all cuboid parameters. You dislike ghouls? There is nothing but trouble. Now, in the name of science, we shall ensnare evil in its multifarious forms, thus rendering it useless against the world. to go wrong. You're not used to that yet. He who dares to end my domain shall suffer the wrath of my invincible cosmic power. Word for word, exactly what I didn't want him to say. Drawing me into 
to this. I nearly sold him the deeds to the castle. Something a bit more manageable, I think. I couldn't stand anymore. I grabbed the ghoul cube and made a fly for it. Seize him! Seize him! That cube may be important. So, so that's the problem. If you're ever going to change me back, oh yes, and uh, save the world as well, I need you to reverse the flow of the dimension gate and send Big D back to his own evil domain. On the case. A useful signpost. A useful signpost. A gibbet with some poor soul in it. What's a half dead guy like you doing in a cage like this? <sighs> Do you really love Oscar Wilde? <sighs> It may hurt you to know this, but you are not a canary. That's what Grandma always used to say. And this is the old crossroads. One of Big D's imps. Ugh. One of Big D's imps. Do. 
but not for the likes of you. Does your policy of blanket discrimination make you a viable force in today's market? Ah, good. My friend doesn't like you. Now, what do you want to do about that, eh? Huh? Huh? Who wants to be liked by a mouldy, rat-faced, butt-kissing, anus bread in here? I say, I go, I say, yeah, it's coming in your ears, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What exactly did he say there, Roy? Your impolite reaction to my appraisal of your stature as a fellow human has greatly offended my innate sensitivity. Stitch this, you scum sucker! Yeah. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! The Lord is my shepherd. You should stay close to me, my child. I thought he said something about cabbage. Come on, it's a glass of water. Here. Take some water. I, I didn't mean for you to steal the entire glass, and, um, <laughs> but I suppose your need is greater. Go be. A Yamaha organ. A Yamaha organ. It's a broken jukebox of sing-along favourites. My compliments to the vandal. It's my groundskeeper. Groundskeeper Billy. Do you name all your staff after the jobs I do? Yes. Butler Sammy, Chauffeur Max. There's also cheap sex with no complications Dolores, but she only comes in at weekends. Oh, no, no, no. You don't get the keys. These belong to someone very special. You ever hear of a guy called Big D? What does Big D do? He tears up the earth. Oh, all oh, like me. Oh, he's a gardener. Yeah. Sowing the seeds of destruction. It's the slaughtered ham tavern. It's an ancient travel stone. In my studies, I've read about how they were used to travel from location to location. It's a portal to another place. It's a mystical doorway to the village. It's a wool-producing mammal, possibly a sheep. A tasty car. A tasty car.
house and it's locked. the dark wood. Be wary. to my house and it's locked. I think I deserve something a little stronger for my dying wish, kid. Punch me again, I'm gonna kill you. Grace, as your body is already just pitting now. That pitting's right there. You punch me again, I'm gonna kill you. Grace, as your body is already just pitting now. That pitting's right there. What do you say, Billy? Do you recognise this raven? It wasn't me. I got over that whole bird thing months ago. Don't you recognise your own boss? Uh, that's not Mr. Frankenstump. 
Okay, the nose is a little similar, but no feathers, not Mr. F. Billy, try and understand. This raven is Mr. Frankenstein. <laughs> yeah, and I'm I'm I'm, li I'm little like I'm like little I'm little Shirley Temple. <laughs> I'm little Shirley Temple. No, I, no, I didn't mean it like that. I, I, I don't I don't have that outfit anymore. Come on, Billy. You have to give Mr. Frankenstein his keys. All right, you are Mr. Frankenstein. I suppose we'd better unlock these gates, hadn't we, sir? The keys to my house. the stairs down to my backup basement laboratory. Okay, sheep shifting. Multi tentacled beastie with attitude back to wart ridden hunchback. The recipe for my antidote is got it. Oh hell. What? You need four separate ingredients. No problem. The teeth of a vampire. Ah, uh, problem. That's the easy one. You also need the fermented juices of the local brew. That ain't so bad. An underground illuminous fungus. We could paint God yellow and bury him for a couple of days. Too bold a fashion statement in these gothic times. So forth. Oh, the light of the pharaohs exclusive to the golden pyramids of ancient Egypt. Oh, make it easy for us, Big D, why don't you? Put that potion shopping list somewhere safe. Ancient Egypt, I ask you. The stairs up to the next floor. Shifting, multi tentacled beastie with attitude. It's Gore, my trusty assistant. You ever hear of a guy called Big D? <laughs> That's just how he made me feel. Do you enjoy being a many tentacled stairway guard? Uh, he used to say that about working in my lab. What's Big D doing upstairs? I never said he could play with that. What evil friends has Big D brought in from the other side? A lot of red imps about the rest you don't want to know, nephew of mine. <laughs> 
Why is he so mad about that? They hang on to his tentacles and use him as a mere pole. Hang on in there, Gore. We're gonna change you back. I know they're useful, but none of your sweaters will fit. The thing is, Gore, we need to get up the stairs. He strongly advises against it. No sh**. I really hope you're gonna let us past. This is my trusty zombie gun. It has a built-in zombie recognizer, so it can only be used against zombies. Honest? There is such a thing as a zombie recognizer. It's not just that this is an adventure game and we didn't want you to go around blindly shooting anyone that might be needed later on in the plot, okay? Well, shut up now. Gore's bedroom. Yeah. Gore's stupid pet rat. A lantern. And about time, Brainiac boy. You ever hear of a guy called Big D? If he's anything like a Big Meg, I'll be glad to munch upon him. He's nothing like a Big Meg. Yeah, I'd eat him anyways. Plus, he comes without a pickle. Where do they make the local brew? Well. My old favourite tipple is made right here. Excellent. That's because it's my own urine. You understand? I... <laughs> I'm looking for a sort of illuminous fungus. Well, there's caverns all over the village, boy. Not that you need magic mushrooms when you got a rat talking to you, eh? <laughs> know what I mean? Trippy enough. Or what? Yeah. Lovely. Does this village contain a corridor of time back to ancient Egypt? You ask a lot of rats that stuff, do you? Have you been in this cage all evening? Left to starve by an uncaring owner. You seen anything mysterious tonight? I'm telling you, boy, a bowl of food would be pretty mysterious around here. Do you know what I mean? Is it true rats eat their own excrement? Your point being... Well, you must be Gore's pet rat. Haha, <laughs> ten out of ten, Sherlock. Ten out of ten. You smell like my grandma. She bathes in her own crap, too. Family tradition. It's a large organ and a pianist. I said, pianist. Grand Hall. A rather sad looking phantom. My face, uh, you, you cannot see it. I'm, I'm, I'm far too ugly. You, you know, you know. You ever hear of a guy called Big D? No, but then I, I don't get out much, is it? <laughs> Absolutely true. Where do they make the local brew? Locally. <laughs> I'm looking for a sort of illuminous fungus. I, I'll, I'll have you know, the boil on my nose turned green and imploded on Wednesday. <laughs> Absolutely true. Absolutely true. Does the village contain a corridor of time back to ancient Egypt? How the hell should I know? <laughs> yeah, you know. What's your name, bud? Most, most people, mo most people, in fear of my loathsome face, spurn my attentions and know me only as the Phantom of the Opera. Absolutely true. What do your friends call you? Eric. Any mysterious happenings tonight? 
It's difficult to tell when your face condemns you to creep and crawl in the darkness for eternity, you, you know. Nothing, huh? Nothing, nothing at all. <laughs> you know. You really ought to do something about that face. I've, I've tried everything. Um, zit cream, mud packs, you know, uh, 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 fruit of the forest, facial poultice, all, all, to, all to no avail. If I were you, I'd be desperate to get out of here. I am. I, I'd do anything. Anything for the chaps. Hey, you should do double dating with the guy on the stairs. You'd be the looker. Please, please, please leave me alone, you know. Kitchen. Sacre bleu! But the only quiz to come here of my own shops, Elisee, when no one leave me in peace to make this food very good. Yum yum! You ever hear of a guy called Big D? It's not on the menu ce soir. Why do they make the local brew? I do not drink that pig's wee wee stuff. I'm looking for a sort of illuminous fungus. Mm-hmm. You won't find it growing on my food, Monsieur Small Boy of the Environmental Health Department. Does this village contain a corridor of time back to ancient Egypt? Ask me a sensible question, or I will cleaver your coulion for pâté de foie gras! It's an ancient portal to my back garden. An oxy is settling torch and stuff. Vicious looking plant. Oh, hey, baby, hello. You're looking cool as can be. You're small and succulent, too. You look like plant food to me. Why the hell do you want to eat me? Well, I'm starving. I'm on a growth spurt, baby. Wouldn't you prefer me to fetch your favorite food? Well, wise up. You ain't gonna find Pamela Anderson smothered in melted chocolate in Spook Central. I'm too busy right now to be eating. But you out of luck, baby. You want to escape me? You got to bring on a substitute. Your breath smells like the rotting carcass of a stagnant warthog. That was my elevenses. 
Using me for plant food ain't so nice. Ha <laughs> ha, shucks. Cut the bull and bring on the meat. of burgers. Is this the best time to be asking obvious questions? The library. The caravanner's guide to ancient Egypt. Didn't I just tell you that was there? A pathetic ghost wearing a Groucho Marx comedy mask. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you like that? I didn't think so. Yeah. How about this? You don't like that either, huh? Say. You don't say much, do you? You're starting to scare me. You ever hear of a guy called Big D? Why, he's the maddest, baddest demon of them all. There's a worse one in the piazza, but not in the mall. <laughs> a crystal egg? Oh, I suddenly feel all broody. A Groucho Marx comedy brew? mask. If you ever tasted the local brew, you'd be asking me why they made it. <laughs> I'm looking for a sort of illuminous fungus. Well, it sure tastes better than the local brew. Does this village contain a corridor of time back to ancient Egypt? Go tell your analyst. You want your money back. <laughs> Why are you wearing that stupid mask? You know, I was going to ask you the same question. What'd you do when you were alive? What do you think? I died. And with gags like that, I should be used to it. But you give me your funny face. I'll swab it for yours. Mine's real. I guessed. You'd never have picked it otherwise. <laughs> I thought ghosts were supposed to be scary. I don't know. Nobody tells me anything round here. I think you're part of a satanic conspiracy to bring the world to its knees. Gee, I wish I'd known. I'd have dressed for the occasion. I have to go in there. Strike out into the world, little fellow, and do your duty as you would be done. Go tell of this evil that comes from afar. Well, hey, nani, no, and ha cha cha cha.
Ay. the stairs down to my backup basement laboratory. A lantern and about... the dark wood, be wary. A bridge, looking very unsafe. Alive, plucked from a certain death, ground into the rocks below. You can fly. Hey, I keep forgetting. A bridge looking very collapsed. looking shot. of the kitchen variety. A vacuum cleaner. up door, a shed.
imp's arm, cruelly trapped inside an evil-looking tree. up door. A shed. A boarded up door. A boarded up door. Bridge looking very collapsed. They say I'm bonkers because I've lost my conkers, but my bark is worse than my bite. My friend's a bit grumpy. Yet he's just a stump. He can grow all his branches way out of sight. So while the sun's shining, you won't catch me pining. You won't catch me running to seed. No, I wouldn't be anything else, you see. It's no joke, I'm on a hoax tree. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Ain't it a wonderful world? <laughs> Ain't this a beautiful place with cute little squirrels and everything? You ever hear of a guy called Big D? No, but I'm sure we'd get along just great. You seen any vampires lately? No, but if you do see any, ask them to come over for tea and biscuits. Boy, I love vampires. Why do they make the local brew? In a wooden barrel, who, believe it or not, just happens to be my cousin. You'd like him. I'm looking for a sort of illuminous fungus. Yeah, me too. Really? I love the stuff. <laughs> Are you sure you're not just trying to establish a common ground so as you can engage me in a lifelong friendship? You're a very astute young man. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> D do you want to come for tea next week? Does this village contain a corridor of time back to ancient Egypt? It sure does. Well, which way should I be going to reach the path? Search me! <laughs> so how do you know that a path exists? I don't, but it obviously meant so much to you, I just didn't want to let you down. Please don't hate me. <laughs> what have you got to be so happy about? Life, liberty, albeit root-bound, the prince of all darkness whose evil presence seeps through the woods. <laughs> and I'm quite fond of beef jerky. So you've never been bummed off about anything? I'd have preferred you to join in my song back there. <laughs> Don't you ever feel the urge to wreak havoc through the forest and tear up the woodlands in a bloodbath of squirrels? I think these are your personal emotions. <laughs> Damn right. Hmm. Maybe you need counselling. <laughs> okay. So tell me what's so great about the world. Why don't you tell me what's so bad about it? How about war, prostitution, and inner city violence. These are the fault of man, not nature. And plus, I do get off on a lot of that. Okay, so maybe you're right. I'm sure you're a nice tree, but you bug me. No, there's no need to be like that. I bet you got some good advice to see me on my way, eh? Head back to the tavern, stay out of the cavern, and change your socks each day. Is that what you call good advice? No, but it rhymed, so it sounded quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. 
chasm into which I do not wish to fall. A chasm into which I do not wish to fall. A bridge looking very collapsed. A bridge looking very collapsed. Change shot, thank the heaven. A boarded up door, a boarded up door, a shed, 
a boarded up a door. Shed. Now truly smashed. Hmm, a rubber dinghy. A door now truly smashed. Axeman Imp. Okay, that's good. So you're wiping me off the face of this beautiful pet and making all my cuddly friends homeless. It's a doorway to the dark woods. seen any vampires lately? I saw something mysterious heading for the graveyard. I just put that down to body snatcher Bob and his gang of cutthroat corpse enthusiasts. Why do they make the local brew? That's an age-old secret passed down through generations of those who keep this hostelry. I'll be your best friend if you tell me. Down the cellar. I'm looking for a sort of illuminous fungus. The local constabulary takes a very dim view of people purchasing hallucinogenic substances. Sorry, bud. Unless they buy them off the chief of police and he's in Bermuda till Tuesday. Does this village contain a corridor of time back to ancient Egypt? Not much call for it round here, sir.
tasty car. It's my zombie gun. Gore's stupid pet rat. Have you seen any vampires lately? I live in a cage, boy. Oh, it's me another. Hey, rat face. We got burgers in the kitchen. Oh, burgers. Lead me to um. All right, come here, Monsieur Pigrat. Catch me if you can, Sheffy boy. Got him! I know he's near. Big rat dog's bottom breath. I can smell him. Well, I ain't out in sewer, son. I could be a hundred miles away, and you'd still need a peg on your nose. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Hold still, my little dish of the day. Very silly move on you. Oh. A dead chef with a cleaver sticking out of his head. A plate of burgers. Is this the best time to be asking obvious questions? A jug? of burgers. Is this the best time to be asking obvious? A rather vicious looking plant. A rather vicious looking plant. It's my zombie gun. plate of burgers. Is this the best time to be asking obvious questions? A fat imp. A rather vicious looking plant. An oxyacetylene torch and stuff. A grow bag. A grow bag. A secret passage. Now, why didn't I just tell you that was there? A vacuum cleaner. A vacuum cleaner. A Groucho Marx comedy mask.
A Yamaha organ! A Yamaha organ! It's a broken jukebox of sing-along favorites. My compliments to the vandal. Oh no, not for the likes of you. Yeah. You punch me again, I'm gonna kill you. Shows your four years old in such a pitten now. A pitten show it's fair. Eh, oh, dear. It's an ancient portal to my back garden. What do you want to do now? Do? Do? I, I want to sing. I, I want to dance, you know. Do you suddenly feel a new purpose? Sure, if the purpose doesn't mind. Otherwise a dolphin will be just dandy. I may have a little job for you. Oh, don't. I, I feel awful. I, I, I didn't get you anything. You know... I think you should come with me. I might have a gig for you. So, you know, what, what are we waiting for? My, my public's out there, so to speak, you know. I'm wearing a Groucho Marx mask. It's one of those travel stone things. It's a mystical doorway to the village. Weed killer.
Atop. A jug. Sheep shifting, multi tentacle. It's an ancient portal to my back garden. It's the stairs down to my backup basement laboratory. The jug we filled with the killer a grow bag a rather vicious looking plant weed killer dead-looking killer plant. An oxyacetylene torch and stuff. An axe. A vandal axeman imp. A rather dead-looking killer plant. Settling torch and stuff. An oxy torch imp. Ooh, spooky. It's the old graveyard. Like I said, the graveyard. Possibly 
identical it's description to the cemetery. other ancient travel stones I keep on telling you about. A gravestone. identical in description it's into the other ancient the local travel stones I keep on telling you about skeleton playing a golden flute. <laughs> See, I scared him there with my best roar. I, I used that one in Jason and the Argonauts. Look, will you shut up about Jason and the Argonauts? What? Well, we all know you were in it. Chief crumbly skeleton warrior, I was. I know, it's all I've had for the last 40 years. What did you mean by that? Well, Jason this, Argonauts that. I wish sometimes the Cyclops had just gobbled you up. Stefan wouldn't have done that. He'd learnt stage gobbling. Oh, Stefan, is it now? Yeah, we got chatting on set. Be quiet. open because we've just opened it. Uh, a gas mask wearing skeleton. How odd. table beside the coffin. A stone, possibly identical in description to the other ancient travel stones I keep on telling you about. It's an ancient portal to my back garden. It's one of those travel stone things. It's a doorway to the dark woods. Settling torch An oxy torch stop. imp. It's my zombie gun.
my boy. A wine rack. Racks that used to contain wine bottles. A rather ominous looking pod. A luminous fungus. Mask. A luminous fungus. A luminous fungus chunk.
stairs out of here. Zombie cunningly hidden behind the stairs to cause us grief. stairs out of here. Stone. It's an ancient portal to my back garden. It's the stairs down to my backup basement laboratory. Chunk.
tasty car. The gate out of this spooky place. I think I deserve something a little stronger for my dying wish, kid. I think I deserve something a little stronger for my dying wish, kid. Jug. of what? Jug we filled with the You know, I really do deserve something here in return. You can have my car keys! Just give me the drink! <laughs> please! Please, kid! Give me the drink! I'm dying! I'm dying! The jug we filled with the local I think I deserve something a little stronger for my dying wish, kid. The keys to that port.
ist die K. Hey, an imp thing. Uh, this car's ignition? The keys to that port. Hotel door. A closed window. A closed window. window. You know, the one we just smashed. the reception area to this magnificent hotel. <laughs> it's an elevator that looks bust. A bell, possibly to summon assistance. door locked unfortunately uh. the reception desk a door locked unfortunately. It's a food trolley. It's a garlic pizza. Squawk! A door locked, unfortunately.
of the garlic pizza. Squawk! is cunningly fashioned into a delicious pizza. It's an opening to the local cemetery. A crypt. The door is closed. A crypt. The door's open because we've just opened it. of water. A table beside the coffin. Some vampire teeth in a glass of water. identical in description to it's the other an ancient, ancient portal, portal to, to my back garden. Telling you about. It's the stairs down to my backup basement laboratory. Caravana's Guide to Ancient Egypt.
It's an opening to the local cemetery.
It's a short cut into the depths of the swamp. Flaunting imp. you know, where Egyptian mummies sleep. as you know, where Egyptian mummies sleep. Wow! 
the legendary fountain of the pharaohs? Some sort of lever, it looks important. Captured within. Imp. It's a temporal anomaly and hopefully the way home. It's a half-submerged ancient travel storm. It's an ancient portal to my back garden. It's the stairs down to my backup basement laboratory.
I said, don't bother, I'm getting excellent at table tennis. Sorry, bud. Come on, up the stairs, let's go get that demon. Yeah. Can I go and feed me pet rat first? Hurry up. You've done a good job so far. Now I don't want to frighten you about... God just found out you murdered his rat. Too bad. Do we pump any more of those zombie dudes? Try not to enjoy it. That chance. Welcome to the Quivering.